Welcome back, Commodore fans. In my previous recent videos, there were a few comments and questions about how fast a quick sort program written in machine language would take to complete the sort, as compared to the basic and compiled basic versions shown in the previous videos. So I've created an all machine language program that contains several sorting algorithms, including quick sort. And today, we're going to find out just how fast it can really run. If you stick around until the end of the video, I also have a Commodore 64 graphical line sort demo compiled with the relatively new Vision Basic compiler. All right, let's get started. If you saw the previous videos, you'll remember that the QSort B program was used as the basic code for the compilers. SortDemo.ml is the hand-optimized machine language code that contains five different sorting algorithms. Let's get it loaded and have a quick look. You load it in the same manner as a regular basic program. Listing it shows that it's a basic stub that launches into the machine language program using a sys command. The s variable I will explain later on. Just type run to start it and you see the familiar Petsky screen, but with a menu to choose the type of sort you want to perform. You can see that I have five different sorting algorithms that are arranged from slowest to fastest. I won't be explaining or showing the sort routines in this video. That's an entirely different topic. Just Google sorting algorithms and you'll find numerous pages full of detailed information and analysis of how sorting algorithms work. We'll work our way through from the slowest sort to the fastest. So let's start with the bubble sort. First I want to point out that I'm using the same randomized data that was used in the previous videos. I've also included a real-time interrupt driven clock for timing and a counter for the number of swaps made by each algorithm. Alright, here we go. This will be in real time. 2.1 seconds. This is the slowest algorithm and I'm already very close to the fastest times of the compiled quicksort which is a much more efficient routine. Next is the insertion sort. 1.3 seconds. I've now beaten the fastest compiled quick sort time. Should I even continue? Well, yes, of course I'm going to continue. I did a lot of work coding this demo and want to show it off. Next up is the selection sort. 1.1 seconds. The shell sort, which is considered one of the more efficient algorithms. Two tenths of a second. We are way faster than the compiled versions now. And last but not least, the quick sort. Now don't blink or you might miss it. Ready? In three, two, one. Wow, one tenth of a second. That is 454 times faster than the original basic quick sort. This is why machine language is so awesome. Okay, that concludes the machine language demonstration. Next, we'll take a look at Vision Basic. Vision Basic is a combination basic editor and compiler for Commodore 64 computers. Released in 2017, at least that's what the copyright says on the welcome screen here, it adds extended basic commands for drawing, sound, and other functionality, much like the Simon's Basic cartridge does, except Vision Basic is not required to run the final compiled program. Okay, and now for the Vision Basic graphical line sort. It's the only program on the disk, so let's load it and take a quick look. The .vis extension is not necessary inside of Vision Basic. It will automatically append the extension for load and save commands. The program is much the same as the Commodore 128 Basic 7 version, except I've used the Vision Basic Enhanced commands for speed. In line 10, the CLR command will clear variable memory, and our arrays will be dimensioned as normal. The variable TI is designated as a decimal number, which will be used for the time. Note that variable TI in Visual Basic is not treated as a special variable as it is in regular Commodore Basic. 
In lines 20 and 30, we set up the bitmap screen to be 300 by 200 pixels. In lines 40, 50, and 60, we read the data and draw the lines using the very fast Vision Basic Vertical Line command. In lines 71 through 80, we print out a text message and wait for a key press to start sorting. Lines 100 through 220 is the quick sort code, which is the same as in the previous videos. I've highlighted the Vision Basic specific commands here. Clock is self-explanatory and is set to zero before starting. The increment and decrement commands are used to add or subtract one from the designated variable. This is much faster than the traditional variable equals variable plus one method in normal Commodore Basic. And of course the V-Line command, which as I mentioned before is a very fast vertical line drawing routine. And the rest of the program is as expected. When the sort completes, we read and calculate the time, then display it on the screen. And that finishes the quick look. When we type run, the program is compiled and run within the Vision Basic environment. It starts by drawing the lines and waits for us to press a key to start. And as before, this will be displayed in real time. Ready? In three, two, one. Nine point two six seconds. Very impressive. That's ten times faster than the Commodore 128 basic version, which took over ninety three seconds and is over four times faster than the best compiled time of 43.8 seconds. It might be possible to speed this up even more, as Vision Basic is still new to me, so there may be additional optimizations that I just haven't discovered yet. Okay, well that's all for right now. Thank you for watching, and as always, be careful out there.